Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to day five of Manifest Your Most Abundant Life series. This is an eight-part series, so we're second, we're officially on the second part of this series. If you are just finding this, I would invite you to go back to day one and watch that because it gives an explainer of what we're doing. If you don't feel like it and just want to jump right in, then you know, go for it. Basically, what I do is we read a passage from a Neville Goddard book. And we do a guided meditation and an energy activation for that. It is raining. I don't know if you can hear that, but I love it. It's so cathartic for me. Um, so that is not added. That is, that's real rain if you hear it. Also, I turn my lights on. For the first half of the series, I forgot to turn my little lights on in the background. I was pretty bummed about it, so <laughs> they're on now. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. I'm an energy channel. I will be channeling high vibration, divine source energy through me into you during this session to assist you in whatever consciousness shift you are desiring, you are ready for at this time. If you are open and receptive to receive an energy activation for your highest and best good, just say yes. As I am connecting to you energetically, I invite you once again to bring your intentions for this series, for yourself, into the forefront of your consciousness. Seeing yourself, feeling yourself as your ideal now. Seeing your world, circumstances, as ideal now. Expecting the best. Assuming that your intentions are manifested right now. Feeling yourself as one with your intentions. Feeling the realness of them. Seeing them and feeling them as fulfilled right here, right now. And we begin with a short reading. Our minds, like our stomachs, are wetted by a change of food. Stop all the old mechanical negative inner talking and start a new positive and constructive inner speech from the premise of the fulfilled desire. Inner talking is the beginning, the sowing of the seeds of future action. To determine the action, you must consciously initiate and control your inner talking. Construct a sentence which implies the fulfillment of your aim, such as, I have a large, steady, dependable income consistent with integrity and mutual benefit, or I am happily married, I am wanted, I am contributing to the good of the world, and repeat such a sentence over and over until you are inwardly affected by it. Our inner speech represents in various ways the world we live. In the beginning was the word. John 1.1 1, 1. Man attracts what he is. The art of life is to sustain the feeling of the wish fulfilled and let things come to you, not go after them or think they flee away. Observe your inner talking and remember your aim. Do they match? Does your inner talking match what you would say audibly had you achieved your goal? The individual's inner speech and actions attract the conditions of his life. Through uncritical self-observation of your inner talking, you find where you are in the inner world. And where you are in the inner world is what you are in the outer world. You put on the new man whenever ideals and inner speech match. In this way alone can the new man be born. 
There are two gifts which God has bestowed upon man alone and on no other mortal creature. These two are mind and speech. The gift of mind and speech is equivalent, is equivalent to that of immortality. If a man uses these two gifts rightly, he will differ in nothing from the immortals. And when he quits the body, mind, and speech will be his guides, and by them he will be brought into the troop of the gods and the souls that have tain, attained to bliss, which is from the Hermetica. The circumstances and conditions of life are outpictured in our talking, solidified sound. Inner speech calls events into existence, and every event is the creative sound that is its life and being. And we'll end that reading there. So we begin now with bringing once again your intentions your ideal, your wish fulfilled into your mind's eye. And now how have you been talking to yourself? What has your inner speech been? Now this is something I invite you to bring into your mind now, but more importantly, this is something I invite you to do throughout your days. To become very aware of if your inner speech and inner talking matches the fulfillment of your desire. What has been out of alignment? What have you been saying to yourself that is in contrast to the wish fulfilled? And we call those mental patterns that old inner talking that is not in alignment with your intentions, with your ideal, we call it to the forefront of your mind. And since it is raining, let's call upon the energy of rain, of water, to wash this away from you now. Cleansing your mind your inner speech and your outer speech of all that is not in alignment. Let it all wash away. And now I invite you to bring up one to three statements that affirm your wish has been fulfilled. He gave the example, I'm happily married now. I have a large, steady, dependable in income. Bring up one to three affirmations, whatever first comes to mind, affirming the wish fulfilled and repeat these on a loop now as I'm sending you this energy to ground them into your mental body, creating new neural pathways so that this becomes your new inner talking.
Let no other thought intervene. They may try, but continue with those affirmations. Just loop them. No matter what other thoughts try to come up. And once you're finished with that final round, just take a deep breath in and let go of mental activity with the exhale. Grounding in this energy activation, I invite you to repeat these affirmations throughout your day. Every single time that you think of anything regarding your intentions, the lack of it, the having of it. And all you need are a couple of intentions or even one, one affirmation. Uh, Napoleon Hill was the one who suggested that you write it down on a card anytime you're at a stoplight, anytime instead of getting on your phone, when you're bored or you're waiting, you get out your phone and you read your your affirmation or that card and you read your affirmation. This for me, personally, the inner talking going on a mental diet was the biggest, I mean by far the biggest game changer. So I invite you to try it throughout the day and carry it with you. Just going to wipe off your energy field of anything you released. When you're ready, take a deep breath in, exhale, open your eyes, so be it and so it is. We give thanks. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk with you tomorrow.